What's up everyone? I am going to do just a quick tutorial on how to use the right sight third axis leveler. This also does the second axis as well. So purchase this on Amazon or any retailer, um, Lancaster. Uh, I'm pretty sure Black Ovis has it as well. Um, I picked up mine off of Amazon actually for a little over 100 bucks. It's like 101, 102 right there. And what this does is it allows you to set up your site so that you're able to have it perfectly level when you're doing the steep uphill and downhill angles, as well as having a perfect level if you're doing any side hill shots. Being on the side hill, gravity tends to mess with you a little bit, so you tend to feel like you are vertical with your bow however you are offset just a hair so what this does is it's going to allow you to shoot more accurate in any situation and i will run over the bright sight level as well as kind of doing the down and dirty version where you use a carpenter level as well off of the riser and um, the carpenter level one works it doesn't get a hundred percent right on it but it works enough to where you are able to get out in the woods and get comfortable and confident with your shot so before anything obviously with this you have to take with the bright sight you have to take off your sight off your bow so i'm gonna do that real quick um just to here this is the CBE site, uh, the Engage Hybrid. Um, it is a 964 Allen to take this off. I lied to you. It is a 532nd. So, we'll break this loose real quick. Now, if you have a quiver mount to it, I have the tight spot quiver mount. This won't affect it in any way, mounting it to the bright sight mount. But, so you got it off. What you're gonna do is you're actually gonna mount it to the same mounting holes that you use on your bow itself. So let's get to that. And so, now that we have the sight off here, this is the mount right here from Bright Sight. Comes with some instructions. Do this. To follow the instructions, you're gonna take this knob in this mounting bracket and put it over here. And you want this mounting bracket vertical, obviously for mounting the sight, it's gonna be a vertical mounting bracket. Take this. Move your sight, it's gonna be a little interesting to do this like this, but take that, get the nut from the bow and try to do this here like this. Try to find it there. Get it nice and snug. So, now if you can see, the bubble here is perfectly right where I want it. Move it a little bit here. Get this bubble here, and then this one's off a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to adjust it so you get it right in 
the center. And if you look, I'm trying to see if I can get this to move a little bit better for you guys. But if you look at my sight bubble, it is already perfectly dead center. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to check. So this is actually what you're checking for for second access. But what we're going to check for now that you have adjusted this and if you do need to adjust it on this specific site it's these two right here the top one is you loosen just a hair and the bottom one you loosen and you're able to rotate the housing like this so it'll swing either up this way or swing down and that'll allow you to adjust the bubble to where you want it now each site's going to be a little bit different, but typically that's exactly where they are, right on the housing itself. Um, sometimes they are on the bracket that's going to be on the slider, and sometimes they are back here as well um, on the back of the whole housing bracket. You could adjust back there so you can kind of finesse and fine-tune everything. Um, now we're going to go check the third axis so now that you made sure that your second axis is all leveled to double check everything make sure your bubbles here on the mount are correct what you can do is you're going to loosen this knob and what this does is when you loosen it it allows you to pitch your sight up and down so i'm going to take it and do it up first double check make sure your bubbles are level there you probably get it right about there and if you can see the bubble here is inside the hash mark and the bubble there is inside the hash marks and if you look up here the bubble in my site is level so what I like to do is after making sure that it is level looking up, I'm going to put it down. And there's some issues that are going to be run into here. When you go to put it down, what's going to happen? It's going to hit. So you're going to have to put it on something that is going to allow you to put the site all the way down. And let me get to that. So once you get it on a stand, I just put it on a cardboard box. You just, with anything that's not super stable, always double check with the bubbles on the mount. But again, I'm going to lower this. And check my bubbles. You can see there the bubble's nice and straight in there as well as there. And the bubble in the sight. If anything, it's just a hair to the right. Um, I'm alright with it being right there. If you want to get super OCD, you can get a dead, dead center. And the adjustments are going to be obviously in different locations for each site. But on this one, the CBE engage, it's this and that one. And what it's going to do is going to rotate the housing this way or that way. And it's going to just basically level it out at that angle that you're at. And once you move it to adjust, if it's a little off, um, going down, adjust it. Double check when you go up as well. And just go back and forth and fine tune it until you're able to get where you want. But right here, I'm perfectly happy with how it is. I adjusted this the other day so I know that it is shooting how I want it. And uh, yeah, this that's basically it. Super, super simple and um, very easy to do. And it will help tremendously with any sort of shooting that you're going to find yourself in in the woods. Any uh, steep angle shots and side hill shots. That is something that you are definitely going to want to look into. And now I'm going to show you guys... Just a quick version on how to do it when it's mounted on the bow. So give me a second to set that up. I'll be right back to you. 
just use a carpenter level. And preferably you're gonna have a bow vise. Um, it's a whole lot easier with the bow vise. However, at this moment, I do not have one and a lot of people don't. So it's actually been pretty uh, beneficial. So you can do it by hand. You're gonna be holding the bow and you're gonna be putting this level up against it and checking the bubble. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna to try to keep this as level as possible and rotate your bow to check the sight. I'll show you real quick. So you take your bow level or your uh, carpenter level and you put it up against the riser. Longer ones you can use on the outside of the riser. This one right here works pretty well right here. And I kind of pinch into a place that is level. And what you can do is you're gonna make sure the level, the carpenter level is level against the riser. And then you're gonna check for the bubble on your site. That should give you the rough second degree or second axis. So then once you go to the third, you're gonna try to keep the carpenter level level. Check your bubble here, see if it's level, and then check your site. It should be matching and uh, go from there. You could adjust again. Right here on the CBE is, this is the second axis. Right here, you can actually see a little bit better. Up top, there is the third, and the bottom's the third as well. So you just loosen these up, you can rotate the site back and forth. But to give you just a quick thing here, you put it up, check that your bubble is level. I got the rest in the way. You can check to see the bubble is level. And when you do that, you're looking back at your site. So I'm not sure you guys are gonna be able to see it super well, but the site is level and then you can rotate it and double check. That's just a quick and easy way of doing it with a carpenter level. There's other um, tools that you can use aside from the bright site. Hamski makes another tool that mounts. You can mount it to the riser as well as the site and what that does is double check everything for you. Um, sorry, my dog is freaking out, but um, yeah, just a quick down and dirty way of doing it if you don't have the bright site um, adapter and uh, check the level on that. But I've been doing it with the carpenter level for years and um, seems to work. I got it really, really close with um, with that carpenter level instead of using the bright sight bracket. Um, but yeah, I hope that helped. I uh, really appreciate you guys viewing this. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up.